Hi friends, today I'm going to read you a story called Plant Packages and I'm going to scoot over so there's a little more space in the frame. And this is a book about seeds and today's story is brought, is written by Susan Blackaby and illustrated by Charlene Delage. Delage? I'm not sure but you can look at it and see if you can pronounce her last name. Anyway, as you read this story I want you to think about a couple things. One, what is the author's purpose? And then two, as you read this story, I want you to be thinking about how is this book similar or different from, from Seed to Plant that I read you yesterday by Gail Gibbons. So thinking about those two things, what is the author's purpose? What does the author want you to know? And then the second one is how can we compare the two books? How are they similar? And how can we contrast the two books? How are they different? So I hope you are listening to the book. I hope you enjoy the story. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Enjoy. Is Plant Packages, a book about seeds, written by Susan Blackaby, illustrated by Charlene Delage. Delage. Hard to say. Oh, it has a table of contents. All kinds of seeds, how seeds travel from seed to plant, seed sayings. Oh, from seed to plant or how seeds travel, it's making me think of Carmela full of wishes. All kinds of seeds. A seed is like a little package. Everything the seed needs to make a new plant is inside the package. Seeds come tucked into fruit, cones, pods, and flower heads. They come in all sizes, shapes, and colors. Some seeds are big. Some seeds are almost too small to see. They look like specks of dust. Some seeds are good to eat. What seeds have you eaten? Rice, beans, corn, cocoa beans, popcorn, sunflower seeds, pecan, peas, peanuts. I read them out of order, but it's okay. Hmm, which ones of those have you eaten? Cocoa beans are used to make chocolate. How seeds travel. Seeds cannot move on their own, but a seed from a tree over here can grow into a tree over here. How do seeds move from place to place? That is a good question. Some seeds are shaped like wings and twirl to the ground. I like the word twirl. Reminds me of the poem we read in the fall about leaves twirling. Some seeds are light and catch the breeze. What story does this remind you of? Some seeds are inside heavy cones or pods. They bounce and scatter when they fall. Oh, like the ones that we have at our school that are on the ground under the trees. Some seeds have barbs and burrs. They stick to socks and fur. People and animals carry them from place to place. I'd like to stop here and make a text to text self-connection or a text-to-world connection. It is because of these seeds that a gentleman invented Velcro. He noticed that those seeds would stick to his socks, and so that's how he got the idea to invent Velcro. Pretty amazing, right? Many seeds are food for animals. Birds, insects, and little animals carry seeds from place to place. They eat the seeds and leave them, leave them in their droppings. From seed to plant, a plant makes lots and lots of seeds. Most of the seeds will not find a place to grow, but some will. Hmm. What happens to the seeds that don't aren't able to grow? What does the illustrator show you what happens to them? Then it makes me think when I see these birds, how far do some of those birds travel that when they have their droppings of seeds, how far away are they from the seeds that they ate? Some seeds will hit the ground in a good spot. Some will get buried by animals. Some will get planted by people like you. What seeds do you guys plant? If you want to grow a pumpkin patch, choose a sunny spot. The soil should be dark and crumbly. Use a shovel to loosen the soil. Use a rake to make it smooth. Oh, garden tools. We have a hoe, a rake, a trowel. It's like the little hand shovel. A shovel and then a watering can. 
scatter the seeds on the ground, then cover them with a little dirt. Do not put them too close together. They need plenty of room to grow. Sprinkle them with water. I like how they included the seed package here because seed packages have directions on them. Wait, water, and watch. After a week or so, the pumpkin seeds will sprout. Green shoots will reach for the sun. The shoots will grow leaves. Pull out some shoots so the plants are not crowded. Pull any weeds you see, but careful. Don't pull up the plants. Wait, oh, weed, wait, water, and watch. Good advice. The shoots will grow into a pumpkin vine. You will see yellow flowers on the vine. What do you think comes after the yellow flowers? Weed, wait, water, and watch. The yellow flowers will become little green pumpkins on the vine. The pumpkins are the fruit. The pumpkins will get big and ripe. Harvest the pumpkins, scoop out the seeds, and save them to plant your next pumpkin patch. You will have more pumpkins year after year after year. Ooh, seed sayings. Draw a cartoon of one of the sayings below. There are two peas in a pod. He is full of beans. Don't spill the beans. It does not up to a hill of beans. I have no idea what the last one means. Fun facts. Cone of lodgepole pines do not open to let out the seeds unless they get very hot. This is how trees reseed after a forest fire. I did know that. A co coconut is a seed. What? Many spices come from seeds. Some are nutmeg, dill, caraway, and pepper. Mustard is made from ground up seeds. Oils from seeds are used to make cooking oils like corn oil and canola oil. Seed oils are also used to make soap, paint, perfume, and glue. I did not know that about glue or perfume or paint. The size of a seed has nothing to do with the size of the plant. A big seed can grow into a little plant and a tiny seed can sprout into an enormous tree. Words to know, cone, a scaly fruit that holds seeds. Hmm. Harvest, to pick ripe fruit and vegetables. Pod, a case for holding seeds on a plant, like a pea pod, ripe, ready to pick and eat, and shoot, a baby plant. Two kinds of seeds, a corn seed. Corn seed sprouts one leaf. Seeds that sprout one leaf are called monocots. You can tell the difference between a monocot and a dicot plant. A monocot flowers usually have three or six petals. If you pull apart a monocot leaf, it tears in straight strips. I did not know that. A dicot plant's flowers usually have four or five petals. If you pull apart a dicot leaf, it tears into a ragged line. Hmm. Bean seed. A bean seed sprouts two leaves. Seeds that sprout two leaves are called dicots. Well, this is like our seed experiment that we're going to do at the end of the week. To learn more, oh, this is lots of things that you guys can look at. I'll try and add these hyperlinks so that you can check out this information. I hope you enjoyed the book, Growing Things, Plant Packages, a book about seeds. I'm also going to take just a minute to show you guys. Look what I have. There it is. Pumpkin, small sugar pie, 100 days, an heirloom with very smooth texture, bright orange flesh, and the finest flavor from mouth-watering pies. Vines develop four to six round, orange, slightly ribbed, seven-inch diameter, scrumptious wonders. Who doesn't want to buy those? And on the back, you'll see it's a little dirty, but it gives you the directions. It tells you where you need to grow them. So, seed one inch. That's about that deep. Spacing, three to four per hill. Hmm. Soil temperature, 65 to 85. Days to germination. That's when they start to sprout. Thin plants to three to four. One line means feet. See that little mark right there? It means feet. If there's two, feet has one syllable, inches has two. Inches, so there's two lines. Hmm. I think I might need to plant some of these. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe you can get some pumpkins and start planting or something else.